people ask me why I continue to preach. And I answer, because the word of the Lord has come unto me. And he tells me to go and proclaim his gospel as long as I have breath. According to his ministry, Graham preached to more people than anyone else in history, either in person or through TV shows and satellite links. He was dubbed America's pastor and was a confidant of former presidents from General Dwight Eisenhower to George W. Bush. In 1983, President Reagan gave Graham the Presidential Medal of Freedom, America's highest civil honor. Billy Graham turned 99 on November 7, 2017, which means he was entering his 100th year. President Donald Trump celebrated him at 98. I'm a big fan of Billy Graham. We all are. Who is it? Bro? Who is it? Who is it? I'm also a big fan, and he's been so incredible to me, of Franklin Graham. He's a great guy. He's keeping it going. And Billy Graham's granddaughter was here and spoke incredibly, I hear, I hear. But Sissy Graham Lynch is here someplace. Where's Sissy? Where is she? You were so great. Everybody's saying, if you can do as well as Sissy, you've done a good job. So, thank you. That is an amazing, I will tell you, my father used to take me, they called it the Crusades. And that was, that was the Crusades. It was a beautiful thing. But Billy Graham was amazing. I think, is he 98 today? 98 years old, Billy Graham. Oh, uh, thank you, Sissy. Really great. Say hello to your family. Billy Graham is 98 years old. This is an amazing, truly one of the great, great men. Reverend Graham canceled presidents and preached to millions around the world from his native North Carolina during 70 years in the pulpit. These are some notable reflections on Billy Graham's Christian life. November 7th is my father's 99th birthday. He's entered his 100th year. Uh, what an amazing journey. Billy Graham has always been a man of milestones and he's really reached a new one this 99th birthday. Most people say he's America's pastor, but that so understates it. If you interview people and who do you most admire in the world of, of everybody, whoever, you know, Billy's always at the top. How he persevered over a long period of time, I think that's impacted me the most. He was intentional about his life. He was intentional about his calling. He never veered off from being evangelist. A model of spiritual proclamation and of spiritual integrity. He was used to being with presidents, but he would be just as kind to somebody that was serving him lunch. There was a kindness about him and a gentleness about him and a welcoming spirit about him, which is reflective of the gospel. He answered the questions, but it always came back to Christ is your savior, Christ loves you, Christ is with me. Humility, integrity, and generosity. Billy Graham showed all three. I think Dr. Graham's birthday should be a, a time for us to reflect. His son, Franklin Graham, shared the theme for February 2018 as the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association recognized Billy Graham's 100th year. As we take a look at my father's 100th year, we want to take a look back at the relationship that he had with politicians, especially the presidents. Wherever he went, uh, he met with the presidents and the, and the leaders of those nations and had an impact on them. William Franklin Graham Jr., KBE, was born November 7, 1918. He was an American evangelical Christian evangelist, an ordained Southern Baptist minister who became well known internationally after 1949. He was widely regarded as the most influential preacher of the 20th century. He pioneered the use of primetime telecasts, network radio, newspaper columns, evangelistic features, films, and satellite TV links with his cat phrase, the Bible says. He held large indoor and outdoor rallies. Sermons were broadcast on radio and television, some still being rebroadcast into the 21st century. In his six decades of television, Graham was principally known for hosting the annual Billy Graham Crusades, which he began in 1947 until he concluded in 2005 at the time of his retirement. 
On August 13, 1943, Graham married Wheaton classmate Ruth Bell. Ruth Graham passed on June 14, 2007 at the age of 87. The Grahams were married for almost 64 years. Now this is an excerpt from his last message during his 95th birthday. I look out across an audience when I stand up to preach and I think of all the people with their different backgrounds and their various needs and I know that they are objects of God's mighty love. To the point that he gave his son, his only son, to die upon a cross. And the cross was the most terrible form of execution by the Romans for criminals. And Jesus endured all that in our place. We celebrate Reverend Billy Graham, who preached to live audiences of nearly 250 million people in more than 185 countries and territories through various meetings, including BMS World Mission and Global Mission. He also reached hundreds of millions more through television, video, film, and webcasts. Graham built his ministry by bringing the gospel of tent revival preachers into the modern media age using any tool at his disposal, from telegrams to telephones to satellites and the internet to win souls for Christ. Kimalo Angel Oluwagoke reporting for Novo Plus.